In this video, I want to go through a short, brief report building exercise. This is BIDS, or Business Intelligence Development Studio, where I'm going to build my report. So first, let's create a new report. So I'm going to right-click, Reports, Create, Add New Report. We're just going to go through the wizard here. Um, I have a data source already created, which is a connection to a database. Um, now I'm just going to pull in the SQL that I want to use, and we discussed this in our other videos of how to actually write the SQL. I'm just going to um, paste this in. to get our cells data and we're just going to um, leave the default as a table and you can see there's a page group areas and details for now we're just going to put um, everything in our detail area and we can choose a, a particular layout in our um, wizard here, and we can give it a name. And click finish. See here, now we have a report that shows our cells by country. So we can do stuff like we can come in here and quickly put in a parameter. Um, so let's add a um, let's let's modify our data set here, and we're gonna say um, so. Let's say we want to choose be able to choose the country. So we're gonna say where country in at at country. And so this is, we're creating a parameter here in our SQL, and then this will automatically create a parameter here um, that's available now. Um, so, but now we want to be able to populate that um, that that country because currently you can see if we go there, we would have to know the exact country, right? But we want to allow our users to select from a drop down. So, let's create another data set for the country. And we're going so let's add a data set and we're gonna call this data set P underscore country and then we're gonna paste in our query here just to get our distinct countries names. Okay. And so now that'll give us an available um, list of countries in our dropdown, but we still have to attach it to our parameter here. So I'm going to right click my parameter, and it looks like I misspelled that um, country. Right? And then our available values, we want to use a query. Here's this data set we just created. Okay. And let's double check this. Um, rename that. Double check that to make sure our. Um, yeah, you can see I, since I misspelled it, I need to go back here and rename it and re, uh, retype it. Okay, so now if we go and preview this. Select a value. Australia, and now we have our our data for only Australia. We want to choose the United States. So United States. So now this is just a simple report building exercise on how to build a, a simple sales by country report.